Hi, good day everyone. I am Narayani Kanta Patro, a senior Odoo functional consultant at Resolves, having 12 years of experience on Odoo implementation and consulting on various domains like inventory, manufacturing, accounting, project management and HRS domain. So today basically we are going to discuss about one subject called product traceability. So here in product traceability, we can see how Odoo can help you track your product by using Odoo lot and serial number. Okay, so now I am moving to the demonstration part. Welcome to Odoo's homepage. So as discussed, I am going to show you how Odoo's traceability will help you, right? So for the Odoo traceability to activate that, I need to move to inventory configuration. So here if you see, this is called inventory module. Then go to configuration, settings. Then I need to search the traceability, right? So if you see already I activated the traceability so if this is not activated you need to tick this one not and serial activate or if you need any other feature belongs to that traceability part let's say expiry dates right and display lot and serial number to the delivery slips right if you need then you can also activate now this is already activated so I need to directly move to the subject so first of all uh, I need to uh, go to the two kind of product right already I created a product I need to search that one so here so first of all if you see in the product type there is three types of product available goods service and combo right the goods and service you I think you understood properly this combo one this is basically the combination of product for the uh, like you can utilize for the restaurants and hotels okay that you can discuss later right now we are discussing about goods so here in goods there is also two things one is consumable and one is the storable so if you want to suppose this goods should be consumable then there is nothing need to activate all should be unticked except this particular goods and here if you want this should be storable and you want to count the stock then you need to activate this the lot number is basically what happened the a unique <coughs> identification number that is allocating common category of product or same product okay so for example the pharmaceutical product food product when i am receiving or maybe manufacturing or allocating to a batch number or, tell, <coughs> or a lot number okay so same type for a serial number let's say i'm searching mobile so here the mobile so this is activated under the unique serial number so if there is any expensive product or the product you want to track every parts suppose when you purchase from where you purchase then sale or for the warranty purpose you want to use that traceability number then one unique identification number you can allocate to a individual product so in the lot number you are allocating to a batch product in the serial number you are allocating a unique number to a individual product so uh, to this activity what i will do i will purchase this particular two product and show you so now I am purchasing this particular two product for a single supplier let's say this one with let's say 100 kg mobile maybe 10 quantity okay pricing I can add anything now can confirm so when you confirm you can see there is a receipt is there so if you received so first of all on this part I need to allocate the lot number lot number g 2 and the expiry date you can also see because that also I, i'll show you later how how this particular date will appear here right and this is 100 kg either you can also receive 50 kg in two batch then for the mobile and if you see here the serial serial number this means we're allocating the serial number to the all 10 connected part either you can create manually or I'll come here and I'll give a number okay now this is allocated now save so once I'll validate I can see the traceability here right this is the GRN number 14 and here I receive two like there is a two number one is the for the lot number where the I received the which and the mobile serial numbers from 11 to 20 okay where I, I received the 10 more 10 quantity of mobiles so then what I will do I will again sell this particular product to different customers 
let's say there is a customer B I'm selling mobile to quantity so basically previously I purchased 10 quantity I sell 5 so now if I sell this 2 quantity the system will automatically face the earlier purchase zone right so let's say I am selling 8 quantity okay confirm if I go to delivery part now you can see the 8 quantity is there and the first because I already informed I already purchased that one previous one so that's why system is second from 6 to 10 first after that the, this is the FIFO method first in first out method so 11 to 13 right validate now this is done so if you go to the traceability you can see this particular number this is delivered right so let's say <coughs> I am a customer I have some warranty issue with my mobile right suppose my serial number is this one only right then I can go to the inventory product slot and serial number okay I can see here this particular mobile and enter all the details about this particular product like this is called traceability right right now in which location this should be in customer location this is internal location basically right internal location customer and in the traceability I can see all like this is the first this particular product is in right from vendor to stock and then that particular product is already sold to stock to customer if you want to more traceability who is the partner I can also check okay this is already delivered to the customer B alright and again if I need to check everything like from how this will appear and then I can go to the product moves right I can check those also the same way the lot number if I sell and then you can also uh, track that particular product right and again we will discuss about the expiry dates right so if I go to wait now if we go to inventory you can see here there is expiry date now everything is zero that's why this system is taking two days date expiry date if I put as a 30 it will take after 30 days it will expire right so uh, I think this uh, traceability is uh, now clear uh, like uh, this particular feature will help you to how to track every product if there is a manufacturing then the components and suppose there is a component have the a lot of serial number and that particular component is already utilized to manufacturing any product right then uh, if anything happen suppose any repair or anything right for the entire product life cycle management we can trace those one okay thank you all